And we're back. So today we're going to be showing you how to draw your hitch peg uh, for the miniature train parts. This one is not super difficult. Uh, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Okay, perfectly rounded top. And I'm going to show you hopefully a couple of mistakes that uh, are common for my students to make. So I'm going to click on the plus button for new design. I know I already drew it, but I'm going to click on uh, create sketch. And now if you look at this print right here, again, we're looking at these section lines right here. Section lines give us a clue that this part has a cylindrical symmetry. So generally, it means we want to do the revolve command. If we're going to revolve, it means that we have to draw this thing as if it's only half of the size. Um, so instead of using the full diameters to draw, just like the train stack, we're going to be using radius. So here's how I would do this. There's many different ways to draw this, but I'll show you the way that I like to do it. So I like to first start off by drawing the height of this object, which is 0.65. Okay, and then I'm gonna zoom in, and this is what we're looking at. I'm gonna move my uh, dimension lines over. This looks good. All right, and then we're gonna start from the bottom. So if this shape is 0.25 in diameter, I wanna do half of that, which is the radius of 0.125 which is half of 0.25. I'm going to move that down. Then we're going to come up 0.5, like it says on the print. We're going to come over. Now, I don't know how much this is yet, so I'm just going to draw a line. I left this one blank. And then I'm going to dimension it. So I'm going to click from here to here. And I'm going to make this, so let's see. It says it has a diameter of 0.4. So I'm going to write down 0.2, the radius. So you can kind of see what this object is looking like so far. Now we just have to add this rounded um, head, this little arc here. Now you'll see that the letters SR in the print. SR stands for spherical radius. What that means is that this head here has a radius on the bottom of 0.208. Okay, and it also has an arch or an arc that has a radius of 0.208. So let me show you what that exactly means here. In order to do this arc, I am going to go to the, I, I made it a hotkey, but I'm going to go to the three point arc button, which you can find in your drop down under arc. Whoops, that was not it, this one. I'm going to click on the top. I'm going to click on the bottom, and I'm going to just kind of visually try and uh, make this thing look pretty good. Now, I need to hit D for dimension, and I need to give this a radius, and I'm going to type in 0 0.208. Right there should be all you have to do. That should be fully constrained. All of our lines are black. Yeah, I like it. So let's hit Finish Sketch. There's our shape. Revolve. We are going to, it already selected our profile because there was only one closed loop. So we're going to click on axes. It's going to spin around. You're going to hit OK. And that right there is our finished hitch peg. Again, it says optional chamfer on the bottom edge. So if you want to, you can go into the chamfer button, click on the edge, type 0.01, enter. And there's our little bevel. There you go. That's how to draw the hitch peg. See you next time.